Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Grand Spartan ran off a couple hours here in game since our last episode. Going to quickly go over what we accomplished in those two hours. Uh, you know, we had just reached the point where we could make the cement mixer. I had everything necessary to do that, so I slapped it in the workbench. Got one of those going. Made another forge for the stone. And boy, that is a slow process. It's going to take a long time to be able to make enough cement to uh, do what we need to do. Can't really see having a base prepared for the seven-day horde. I uh, can't say that for sure, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I can work some magic in the next uh, few days. Uh, did a bit more inventory sorting. Combined all the sniper parts, which I only had a few to make that. I'm actually going to take this, and we're going to take that to the uh, trader. I uh, don't even really have enough rounds in the 7.62 of the 7.62 to make a difference. Uh, stripped the shotguns apart and got the essentials out for our shotgun turrets. Looks like we can make two of those as it is. Uh, look at that. A level one shotgun stock's not even fully repaired. Get $2.99 from the trader. And we're going to go to the trader. One of you suggested that I try the traders to see if they have a working chem lab so I can at least get this oil shell processed into gas and that could you know, hold me over until we get enough points uh, to do it ourselves here in the base. Of course, this is all temporary, what you see here. I did make another storage to put my raw resources that we've collected in there. I uh, got one of those stacks of iron. Matter of fact, we can top that off while I'm sitting here talking. Uh, something really important I want to talk about, though, is the artwork for the channel. has been completed. <laughs> it took a little finagling, a little uh, doing to get it uh, sort of right. Uh, some of the picture was cut off. I was a little disappointed by that, but I ran it by Jared over at PO Studios. It was the gentleman who did it. Very nice gentleman. Uh, it was super easy to work with. Uh, very, very affordable. Just a nice guy all around. Did excellent work. Uh, so I have a new channel icon, and I also have the new artwork for the banner that's up. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, the entire uh, artwork would not fit on the banner, just a portion of it, but we'll use it on live streams. Heck, I might even use it for a Let's Play series or something uh, moving forward. But uh, So uh, we have, oh, and also I put his link and a little description about him in my description in the About section of the channel. So if you're interested in uh, maybe having him do some artwork, some 3D animation, uh, contact him. There's his Instagram, his Facebook, his YouTube, all of that. Uh, link down below in the about section. Uh, definitely check him out over on Twitch and uh, give him a follow. See what he's all about. I'm sure you'll be pleased. So I took the aloe that we had, made it into seed. Took a little bit of corn and potato seed. We need to go down to the garden. I have to expand the garden a bit too. But we're going to go to the trader. Uh, I've been carrying this glass, these glass jars around. Had them in my inventory for a while. Going to eat my last meat stew. Oh. That's a sad feeling. But look at all that meat we have. So we're going to have more soon. A little bit of corn, a little bit of potatoes here. Matter of fact, we could probably take that now and just make one more here in the fire. And it's 4 a.m. I ran my mouth for an entire hour in game. Uh, meat stew. Go ahead and slap five of those down. Leaves us with a little bit of corn and potatoes. Let's stick that back in there. But... Let's put the hoe on our belt, go outside. I think I covered everything I did. It really felt like I was standing around most of the night there. I, I don't like standing around anymore, and I can help it. But I uh, also need to try to find some fertilizer here soon. <laughs> It'd be real nice to get some uh, more fertilizer to go down in our garden. So we can almost pick our garden. Is that ready? No, that's not ready. That's going into the fertilized soil there, so... Not too long, and we'll have a decent-sized garden. Of course, like I said before, oh, shoot. This is not going to be our... Why can't I hit that blade of grass? This is not going to be our permanent residence here, our permanent base. Oh, look at that. I got a, a weapon on blunt uh, weapons, or a level on weapon. Blunt weapons can't even talk today just by hitting a blade of grass. Uh, we're going to absolutely create ourselves a custom bunker. I'm going to have to do it soon, too, because, I, you know, I have the hordes turned up on here. Uh, difficulty and the amount of zombies that we get per horde. That's going to be a challenge to uh, uh, take on hordes moving forward. I'm going to really have to think about how I can create something. I think I'm just going to do a raised platform to start out with. Maybe we get a bit fancier than that down the road. But for right now, 
uh, that raised platform, some shotgun turrets going to buy us some time as the hordes grow more difficult. Uh, oh, I also did uh, make some rebar in one of the forges. Made 200 plus we had 66 just from scavenging. Uh, some of those working stiff crates or wherever we may have picked those up from. So should be good on that moving forward. Go ahead and get these couple potato seed down. That's what we're really short on. We're short on everything, but... And that should be good for that. All right, so decent little garden. We'll have enough to make ourselves some meat stew before you know it. And once we can pump out a lot of corn, I could even do some blueberry pie. <laughs> we could do some blueberry pie and uh, have that to carry around on us. So we're going to throw that out. Going to put the seed and the hoe back in there. Uh, we'll keep the plant fiber just in case. Let's do a sort. Make sure I have all my ducks in a row here. Yep, everything's good. I'll probably go ahead and turn that mining helmet off that I love so much that I used to get complaints about because I left it on all the time. <laughs> so first order of business will be running over to the trader. Now I still need to get a couple levels. I did hand out some points. I didn't give any to the cement mixing because I needed uh, another point in weaponsmithing. Of course, you can see I increased that on the spike club and combined my old one with the new one. Same thing with my hunting knife. I also gave the, all the points to miscellaneous crafting, uh, quicker crafting. I believe I gave another point to that. And something else. What was the other thing? I started to give it to gunsmithing, but I, I held off after the first point. But, uh, you know, I don't have enough points for the cement yet. Uh, it's going to take a couple levels, but it's going to take that long to just smelt down that um, stone into cement. So not a big deal there. But we're going to need, let me check my mini bike and see what exactly we have in the mini bike itself. Uh, I'll go ahead and stick my Duke coins in there. Eh, a couple items we can take into the base with us. Don't necessarily need to haul that around. You know, it might not be a bad idea to put those wood spikes, maybe put them there on the belt. All right, let's take a trip over to Mr. Trader Man and see if he has a working chem lab. He does, and we're in business. I don't think there's a popping pills here. Boy, I'm getting that weird stuttering again. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off. Let's change some video settings here real fast. Let's turn this off and see if it gets rid of the stuttering. It has something to do on 16.3 with the, the buildings. I never had that before. Never had that before. I don't know what that's all about. Let's see if we're still getting the stuttering a little bit. We're still kind of getting it. You know, still getting it. Uh, I've changed no settings here. You know, I play in 1080 all the time and don't get any issues with that stuttering. It seems to mostly be here in the city. You know, we're around all these big buildings and whatnot. You typically, uh, oh, there's a biker. You typically experience that when you are generating a new city that you've not been to. So I don't really understand why it's doing it now. Come on, man. Oh, my goodness. Get a little closer to him here. I'm trying to get that bonus damage because this guy's tanky. Very tanky. Oh, here he comes. Did that just go right through his body? That's what it looked like. Oh, that didn't. Look at that. He's down. Count. Nice. Yeah, 146. We'll take it to the trader. <laughs> but I'm uh, pretty excited about things uh, happening lately, uh, especially that artwork. I've been waiting on the artwork now for a couple weeks. The gentleman was very busy, <clears throat> and he fit me in to get it done and uh, work with me uh, over a great amount of time there this evening trying to get everything looking as, as good as we could possibly get it to look. And it uh, turned out super and I hope to show off the entire uh, photo, picture, uh, sometime this coming weekend on stream. I'll have that for my Be Right Back or my stream starting soon, so check it out then. And I think you'll appreciate uh, the work that he's done on that. We discussed it, and it's kind of hard to explain to someone your idea of something and then have them put that on paper, make a picture out of it. See, so we're not experiencing that skipping out here, are we? Not happening out here. It's just in that city. 
Uh, so we're going to make a base outside the city. We're not going to make the base in the city like I used to do, even on the uh, very near outskirts of it. We're going to find some place that we can... Anything you like? Some place that we can build a proper base that's out of that. Uh, so the trader today is day 10. Yeah, so he respawned today. Uh, I can almost buy that shotgun long barrel. We need those. Um, does he have anything? Of course, we can always go over to the other trader as well before I go buying things up. Oh, we made enough money selling that little stuff off. I could buy that shotgun barrel. We are going to need that. And we're going to need that shotgun barrel. I want to have at least four shotgun turrets eventually. And I'm sure uh, it has some auger blades right here too. Wait a minute. Did I click on that uh, this tab the first time? I don't think these shotgun barrels matter. That one's a lot less expensive. I mean, it's almost like I was seeing yesterday's loot or something when I clicked on it. Let me scroll through this one more time. But I did take the barrel off the one shotgun. Uh, let's go ahead and buy this one and just have it. Uh, I have a generator bank. Pretty sure I have generator bank, so I don't need to buy that. Auger blade's good. Look at that. Look at that. 272 will be able to upgrade it here soon. Probably could have upgraded now. No, I think 300 and then plus whatever it was that I combined. But we'll be able to upgrade that here very, very soon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The whole reason I came here. My goodness. Oil shale. And... Wood. I can't believe I've not looked through these. May have been on the opposite side too, and we've already looked at it. Here's one to use. All right, beautiful. Um, well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna need more wood than that. Gas can, ow. 24 minutes. Ooh, we went way overkill on the fuel. Plus, it's gonna fill up. It's gonna fill up. Let's do. Um, uh, let's, let's do it this way. Can I not type the, yeah, well, let's cancel it. No, 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 no. 32. What does that convert into? 23,000. So we're only going to need to do a fraction of that. Let's say much does it break down as 10 so and 30 in this last slot 22 minutes and that's uh one two six that's good that'll work right there let's go ahead and get a full stack going we'll get one more click here of it all right perfect well, can't forget that. I'll have to come back there. Let's check these other uh, places here since I've not checked those. Okay, that's just one you can use. It's not uh, destroyed. This forge could be destroyed, though. Yes, yeah, destroyed. Oh, look at that. Steel arrowheads. Nice. Be able to use those. All right, good, good, good. Let's run over to the other trader since today is respawn day. Take a look at what he might have that's new. And before I forget, while we're riding over there, we can stop by the river. Down by the riverside. Get our jars of water. And fill those suckers up. What, did I just touch that cactus? <laughs> Stick it back on there so I don't drink it. Boy, we have a lot of oil shell left over, too, even after that. But that's what we'll do. We'll just keep going back and forth to him. Uh, since it is right next to the city, we have two traders. Maybe this trader has another one. We can plop, you know, 6,000 down in there, too. And uh, we'll, have, uh, we'll have two places pumping out gas for us to stop by every once in a while. Because I do want to get some more mining done. I know you all are like, ugh, mining. But it's necessary. Uh, something I have to do. I know some of you don't mind it at all. 
Uh, and some of you just despise it, but it's very, very necessary. I did not do enough of it in the last Let's Play. And we're so far behind now, I cannot be wasting time. And let's see what you have. Anything of worth or value. Do not see anything here. Uh, the auger parts, but, you know, we're fine on that. We even have some green auger parts back at the base. Uh, it has a paintbrush. I don't remember if we have a paintbrush or not. I'm sure we'll probably, probably eventually find one. Let's scroll through what he has here. Well, he had a really good hunting knife. Don't buy it. You know, as much as we need the uh, meat and the bones, if that produces a... And there was a chem lab, but wasn't it destroyed? Yeah, this was a destroyed chem lab. Okay, well, I thought that it was. I, th I thought I'd remembered the only chem lab that I'd seen, but it could be more. Nah, I doubt there's any more in here. Specific trader layout. So, uh, we're going to need to get some levels. Why not let's, let's look at the map. Pick it some boulders. Looks like we have a forest biome this way to the south. Let's go to the forest biome and get as many boulders picked out as we can. We'll get a good many levels out of that. We'll get plenty of uh, nitrate and coal and lead and iron and all the stuff while we're doing it. Uh, I'd stop out here, but you just have a boulder here, boulder there. I think it's a waste of our time to do it that way. In the forest, you have those clusters where, even the snow biome, uh, where you'll have multiples all right close to each other, maybe 6, 8, 10, 12 in one cluster. And it's safe as having to constantly get on and get off the mini bike uh, just for a few resources here or there. Probably should be picking up the corn and all this golden rod. See how it's starting to skip again? We're getting close to the city generating all of these buildings. I don't really, I don't think I remember that on the multiplayer server either, though, and skipping like that every once in a while. That's kind of silly. But if you notice on 16.3 how all these buildings are so close together now, these old uh, destroyed buildings, so many of them right next to each other and maybe that has something to do with it but uh and i guess always on the mini bike there's some sort of a bit of stutter uh but it just seems a little worse on alpha 16 3 uh let me turn down the volume just a tad so i don't blow you all out but we should get a decent amount of resources i could also check minor 69er and make sure we can't give that other point out still need three levels on that so and we are out of clay Play is another thing that I can pick up while we're out and about. Stick that in there and you, and might as well stick that in there as well. Let's do a sort. Eh, I hate to do it, but I could probably scrap this. And yeah, we don't have any scraps, so it's not going to save us space. We're going to need to get some lead. Get all of this stuff. Uh, really just trying to get some levels done right now. I need those more than, more than the resources, honestly. And we're going to need a lot of stone. How much stone have we picked up? 13, 13 already. Wow. You get an incredible amount. And of course, the better your skill and your blade on your auger, the more resources you get as well. Look for another patch of boulders. There's a little bit of water right there. A little bit of lead. We'll take that lead. Probably start a mine out here too. You know, I told you about starting a uh, stone mine in hopes to also find lead or something like that. So we'll probably start a little mine out here, and I'll have those spikes on my belt in case we run across a bear or a wolf. We'll be able to get away quickly and get back to our bike and start riding for our life. Um, hmm, water's edge. It's, uh... see a bunch of boulders right here right next to clay I know I'm gonna forget about the clay is that a that's a house oh look at you sneaking up on me oh my goodness at least he didn't cut us right don't have a whole lot of space right now or I'd cut him up for the bones 
<clears throat> hoping that we run across an animal or two, maybe. Get a little bit more meat, replace what we just used. Uh, someone the other day was just blown away by the fact that you get so much wellness and fullness from meat stew now, but, you know, it comes at a high price. It really does. What's this down here? That's just iron. I'm actually going to throw that out. A little bit of sand. So I have plenty of goldenrod. I must have planted a bunch of that. I don't remember planting a bunch of it. Let's go ahead and get rid of that body. Whoops. Didn't mean to pick up that cotton. So we're going to do this for a little while and see if we can't gain a level or two out of it. Also the clay. While I'm here, let's, this is a nice little spot for clay. This is away from our base, uh, away from the city. Uh, and it's not a very big biome here either, is it? Let's go ahead and get this clay. And this is a quick way to gain levels right here. Uh, clay seems to give you just a tremendous amount of experience. I don't know what the difference between this and, say, stone. and uh, Maybe there's someone out there. I think I mentioned it last episode we were mining. There's someone that's done a test to say, okay, this gives X amount of experience. Uh, experience the stone gives that. Uh, coal gives this. So, you know, maybe there's someone out there that's done a breakdown on that. Uh, I'm curious. You know, I'd like to know if any of you out there are up to the task to be able to tell you that, okay, uh, this gives more experience than that. Uh, it would probably be just as simple as looking at your, say, mining tools and your character experience. Where are the mining tools? So I'm, you know, right there under, in between the scavenging, trading, health, and fitness. <clears throat> and then my character, well, I'm almost the next level on the character, so do this for a moment and then you can look back See, it just hit a new level. Well, we could go ahead and give the skill points out to concrete mixing now, I guess. How much play do we have? Well, we didn't get a lot. I'm just going to hold down on the button here for a minute. And there's no need to waste this tree. After this is reloaded, I'm going to cut this tree down. No need to make it fall. Nice. Well, that'll shoot up the old uh, wood quickly. When I get back to the base, I need to probably get the one of the forges to have some sand. I don't want to get too forge crazy. I mean, we will really need about four forges, honestly, but uh, going to need to make some more repair kits soon. But I need to get one that I can put sand and lead in for shotgun, uh, buckshot, and for glass jars. Because once we start taking on larger hordes, we're going to need to convert those bones into glue. That's going to be very important. I'm going to try to get a decent amount of clay here. Let's go ahead and fill up this one stack. I know that's only two stacks, but I'm ready to get on out of here and get some more of these boulders picked at. Get a little bit more wood, too. be nice to finally see a full stack of wood. My goodness, I don't think we've seen that yet. Speaking of wood, there's a tree right here that's about to collapse. With all of this uh, clay and the plant fiber. Okay, so we started a new stack. Oh, cheerleader. Coming to cheer on the old Grand Spartan. Whoa. He is down. All right, kind of have to remember where that's at. That uh, hole so I don't run into it with the mini bike. I guess we can get out of that. Resource gathering. That way, when we get to building, that's all we're going to have to worry about. Just build, 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 and focus on it. Maybe, just maybe, 
Now, I wonder what that is over there. You see that? Let me look at the map. Is that another city, you think? Well, we're going to ride over there and find out. I thought Trader was the first thought. But it may actually be a whole city. It almost looks like a fire station from here. I don't know that for sure. Let me make sure. Let's see what else it is that I have turned on on these graphics settings here. Uh, reflection quality. Let's just turn that off for now and see. Maybe that has some effect on what's going on here. Well, now I'm starting to generate new terrain, so that absolutely could be uh, terrain. But it doesn't seem to have that same little weird skip. It could be because there's not a whole lot to generate out here. Just water on one side and hill on the other. Look at that. Look at that weird-looking thing. Whatever you want to call that. Ooh. Whoa, let's see. Let's see what this is. This is a new city. This is close. This is real close to where we're at. Oh, cross your fingers, ladies and gentlemen, for a... About six working stiff stores, maybe a couple shotgun massages. Heck, I don't know. Everything. We need it all. <laughs> yes. An airdrop right over there. We could almost go scoop that airdrop up. Oh, it's going to fall in the water. Maybe. Is that going to fall in the water? Or is it going to fall on land? Will it fall on the water? Or will it land on the land? <laughs> All right, that was a fire station. Good eyes, Grand Spartan. Good eyes. Good eye, Mike. There go all my Australian subscribers. Right up on the hilltop. Let's see what we got over here. Got a little church action over there. Car in front of me. Yeah, we could loot this fire station. Another oil company, perhaps? Don't know that for sure, but something. Ah, uh, there's a pawn shop. You know, there's good stuff in a pawn shop. Uh, kind of trying to look both ways, same time. There's a booby trap. Ha ha ha! Ah, a little cracker book. All right, girls, girls, girls. There's a rabbit in the road. A little church. What do we have over here? Have Buzz's bar. Pop and pill a little shotgun messiah. Oh, yeah. A saloon. I don't know if I've seen that saloon. And it is smoky. Oh, my goodness, it's smoky over here. Let's take a look at what's in here real fast. We're not going to... Probably won't cover the whole store. We're going to cover some of it. Don't you hit me, gal. Losing her mind over me. Yeah, oh, look at that. It's kind of a weird position she's stuck in there. Oh, another one. Oh, I was looking all around. I could hear the zombie, but couldn't see the zombie. Hear the zombie. See the zombie. Be the zombie. Oh, there's another zombie. This businessman zombie. Oh, there's Nurse Nancy. What you got, Nurse Nancy? Break on through. Break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Do, 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 do. I don't want to get caught in here. Ah, oh, she brought me my uh, daily vitamin. We'll take two. Just cause. All right, let's do a sort. Free up our space. Oh, another shotgun barrel. Boy, we should have saved our money. It's all right. It's all right. It's, uh... We had to take him out real fast. Boy, time passes by quickly on this game. I haven't accomplished anything yet today, and it's already uh, 30 minutes in, so we need to figure figure out what we're going to do. Boy, I can't see anything. There's another military base. 
This seed is nothing but military. Ooh, you see what I see there? Do you see what I see? Uh, 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 uh. So, oh, you do get corn seed for that. All right. Oh, this is not grown. This is not grown yet. That's okay. Maybe because we've, uh, you get seed for this? Oh, you do. You do. Okay, even though it's not grown yet. I hate to take it. You know, it could grow, but it's not on fertilized soil. No, no, that's on fertilized soil. Uh, how about better harvest with an auger? Do we get more yield? Still just getting one. We'll do it for science. We'll just, uh... I was getting blunt weapon skill with that. <laughs> I think it's more important, honestly, that we get... Uh... Oh, I can pick this. This one's grown. That we get our bladed weapons up, because we're not going to be using those very often at all, except for skinning. Some of it's grown, some of it's not. We're just going to take it all. We're going to take all the seeds. Take them back home. Probably should just replant it right here. This city is close. This is really close to our other city. We're very fortunate to find two cities nearby. Uh, of course, it's kind of looking like it, this city, just like it does in the others. Uh, some useful places, um, till we find a place that has, say, a full-fledged Shaka Messiah or working stiff. I'm not going to be satisfied. Um, still a lot to explore here, though. Military base here. Another military base there. My goodness, the military bases. I mean, let's go up in here. Let's go up in here and check it out. Let's kill this guy off first. One and done on him. I'm going to encounter some of these nasties up in here. I know it. Pistol parts. Pistol pack and mama. Oh, those guys are so nasty. They, they have potential to uh, give you that stage 2 infection right off the bat. Look at that. Gas can schematic. We're not even going to bother ourselves with that. Let's open the gun safe with the uh, key. I brought the key along with me today, folks. Look at that. Did that on the server yesterday, and uh, it was already open. Look at the two more shotgun barrels. My goodness. Uh, let's just leave that there. Anything else that we could leave behind? Probably the beer. I don't know that I necessarily need the beer. Maybe we need it for Horde Night, though. Who knows? We'll probably be running for our lives. Uh, pistol. That's 1,425. A couple splints. Don't really need those. Gun store box. Uh, AK-47. It's a lot of good stuff here. Uh, let's check the mini bike real fast before I get too deep on this. But that's good loot. That's a lot of money. It's going to buy us what we need. Not that we're short on cash. I guess I'm carrying those around as well. Uh, we'll throw, can't eat that. Can we go ahead and read this? Yeah, we can, all right. Go ahead and get that out of our bag as well. wonder where that's at. Now we have an auger. Boy, we could, oh, it's right there. It's a long ride. Now that we have an auger, we could absolutely just chew through some, uh, some dirt to get to those. This is full. Don't necessarily need the animal fat. And we can stick that in there. I'll keep this just in case we ever do an auto turret. You don't want to have that. And let's convert this into seed. Don't need it as corn. And that frees up a few more slots. That's good. The gunpowder, the 60 gunpowder, probably shouldn't keep that either. But we're going to be making it eventually. I'll, tell you, I'll keep 60. I won't keep like six or something like that but i will keep 60. Uh, that's a thousand for that don't want to go looking around too much more because it's just going to make me want to uh clear more items out of my inventory let's get this last crate and we'll get out of here that's a working stiff crate a little forged iron we'll take it we'll scrap it if we need to we'll take it for now not going to go in the buildings though i'm sure there's good stuff in there Oh, 
potatoes. Whole field. There's another cornfield over there. Look at that. Nice. That's a big cornfield. This is a lot bigger than the last one, isn't it? Uh, some of the corn is ready in this one. Oh, I can't even pick up the corn that's uh, ready because we're full. I had a space in here, didn't I? Much as I want to make glue, maybe we should throw that out. Let's see if there's anything else. I'm, it's late, folks. It is late, and I am not focused uh, tonight at all. Uh, we can scrap that and stick the scrap in here since we got the new hunting knife. How long does it take to scrap that? There it is. Oh. All right. All right. We can pick that corn. Left the seed in here, didn't we? We could have a massive cornfield. Uh, technically, a massive... You know what? It's going to be faster to do it this way. And we get the same amount. <laughs> this, is how you, this is how you harvest corn right here. Looks like the potatoes might be ready. No, there's blueberries. Those are blueberries. Yeah, we don't care about the blueberries. We don't need no stinking blueberries. I need to reload. Probably not the uh, most cost-efficient way of doing it, but uh, certainly the fastest way to do it. Oh, I'm kind of I'm augering down some of them that are actually ready to harvest, but not a big deal. I just want to be able to plant a large garden, and uh... see that one's not ready. Some of them that are green aren't necessarily ready for harvest. How many seed do we have? 138. We're never going to need more than that. Uh, not for now, at least. That's a, that's a that's plenty. Let's just get out of here. I get all carried away. I'll sit here all day. Is that a dog? Uh, let's take a look at the map. Okay. Looks good there. That is another oil company there as well. Well, uh, no working stiff that I could see uh, offhand just riding through. We did have the, did have the fire station. Another cornfield. My goodness, they're planting all kinds of goodies over here in the burnt biome. Gotta take a look across the water and see what we can see. Is that a trader across there? Now, how in the world will we get to that trader? See it right there? I'm sure that's trader. Uh, there's a road down there that goes across to him. Let's see if it's just possible to get to him from over here, if we have to take some roundabout route to get there. Might as well ride out across the dirt and hopefully not set our bike on fire. I see a little land bridge or something. Maybe that's a road. Yep. Looks like a road leads right to the trader. Let's take it and check it out. Still have plenty of fuel. Not concerned by, about that at all. We could also stop back by uh, Trader Jewels on the ride back home. Sell off these pistols that we found because I'll never use pistols. And even the ammo. We can even sell the ammo to him. Uh, or just sell it to this one, I guess, if we can make it over to him. Uh, but we can stop by there and pick up our gas is what I was thinking. Uh, looks like we can make it to this guy. We just have to drive across the... Little section of terrain out there. I don't know if a road leads here or not. Good stuff. A little tiny island in the center. Yeah, we can make a base out there. We would never see any zombies, but we could make a base out there. There's a drawback to that, though. If there's a big drop-off, flat spot goes down to the bottom. They'll just chew the bottom of your island until it all collapses, so... Downfall of that, too. Yeah, that's a nice. Another trader. Don't know if we'll throw this one in rotation since we have the two so close by, but it's always good to have multiple traders located all around. Yeah, no skipping. Do you notice that? No skipping now? I don't know if it was either a coincidence that I turned the 
reflection off or if it's just because I was near or not near the city. I was moving away from the city as I turned that off. Could be either that or, or the two together. Who knows? But one way or the other, uh, I'm not getting that silly skipping that I was getting before. It does get a little annoying. Someone pointed it out, and I wasn't really paying much attention, but I did notice it today, more more so even than in that episode. But All right, what you got, Mr. Trader Man? Let's sell you this, this. Oh, he doesn't want any more pistols. I bet we could sell him the parts, though, right? I bet you want this. You can have it and that. And we might need the forged iron, honestly. Uh, nice, another level. Let's see what do you have. Small engine. It's not great. Uh, we might buy it anyway, though, since we were able to make uh, about enough money to buy it. That is a 509 paintbrush. What do you know? He does have some military boots. Those are good. Heavy banded leg armor. Mini bike seat. Auto turrets has two of those. It's tempting. It's tempting to buy those. Uh, then we would just have to focus on shotgun shells. We wouldn't have to worry about the resources. All right, that, those are auto turrets. What am I thinking? I'm looking for shotgun turrets. Shotgun turrets. And we have the two motion sensors back at the base. I don't know if we looted those or if we bought those. Right, let's look at all of his items here real fast. Has some purple gloves, iron gloves. I am not seeing anything that stands out. Let me look at my armor. What do we have here? Oh, yeah, look at that. 599 gloves, legs, boots are good. The chest armor, uh, we could use an upgrade on that. What is it? 3129. Um, okay, so. No better there for that. I'm going to pass on that engine only because it's it's just a yellow. Uh, I, I'm probably going to kick myself later for that. Uh, we'll start wrenching more engines eventually. Is there anything else I had to sell to this guy before I leave just to get it out of our inventory? I don't see anything that I technically want to get rid of. I could have broken these pistols down into parts, but we'll we'll just hold on to them for now. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Head back home. It's already seventeen fifty-seven. Good find, though. I wonder if we head this way. That treasure's right there. I have an auger. I do have an auger now. Uh, what do you say we go try to dig it up real fast with the auger? It won't take but a moment to dig this up as long as it's not in the middle of the water. Hmm. Wonder how far out into the water it is. Well, in this case. As long as the water's not too terribly deep. Oh, that's way across there. I'm not swimming that distance. I was going to say, it's not going to be buried. Cowboy Joe, what are you doing? Don't come sneaking up on me like that. Ah, but I'll take your uh, your items. Thank you for that, sir. <laughs> Little uh, loot delivery system. Uh, let's go back over here. And then we'll head back home for the evening. So once again, I didn't get much done, uh, really any done in the way of base building. But we are pumping out cement back at the base. And we'll make that into a uh, concrete mix eventually. And now that we have the skill point, that'll be something I need to do pretty soon. And I have 266 rebar. Maybe we can make enough spikes. While I'm thinking spikes and I see this old rotted tree, why not do this? We have coal in our inventory, right? Yeah. It's a 1200 tree, you know? Coal and, and wood. I like that. I like it. There's another one right here next to it. Kind of looking around me, but if a zombie walks up, it's bad news for the zombie with a chainsaw in my hand. Uh, another good day, though, with the loot and all. I, You know, I'm sure some of you don't dig the looting uh, quite as much. 
But I, boy, you know, the things we're finding, I'm really pleased with that. I think our last Let's Play, we didn't have the cities around us like we do on this one. Now, the cities we had had more in them, but this one just feels better to me. And I know we're getting off to a slow start. I know things aren't looking promising thus far. We're probably going to be on the street again for the 14-day horde. Uh, I don't know that for sure, but it's looking that way. Uh, but if we can just hold on for a little while longer, I think things are really going to take off for us. We're going to have a, a successful Let's Play here. We're going to be able to uh, create some fabulous bases and uh, have a, a good layout of the map to work with while we're doing so. There's like a couple radio towers over there. Maybe if we need some scrap iron, we'll come over here and auger those things down. On a burnt area. Boy, we could just go out here and get coal and wood for days. Look at all of these large trees that you can get coal and wood from. Uh, what am I sitting on right now? Let's get rid of that. Uh, 428, 29, 37. Yeah, we're definitely coming back over here at some point. I mean, I need the, uh, I need the coal and the wood. I need, I'm going to need a tremendous amount of wood because we're going to be roughing it out on the street for a long time to come. I can foresee that in our near, well, maybe even on the 21-day horde. I don't know. <laughs> that would be tricky on the 21-day horde, but we're probably going to have to do that. Until I can get this base up and going, we'll just keep roughing it out on the street. So the potatoes never did fully grow. Well, that's all right. That is all right. We'll be back, my potato friends. This is Farmer Fred. I need to check my map, make sure I'm going the right way here. Across this road to the east. Looks like that airdrop may have fallen into the water. I'm not going to fight that. Look at that house that's recessed into the land over there. I kind of like the way it looks. I know that's probably not intended. Uh, but it's better than a house sticking off the side of the hill. But I do like that. I like the way that looks. Whoa, about to drive into the water. Not going to like the way that looks. I know it's showing that treasure. No? What is it showing on my map in front of me here? What is that marker? Is that the original trader? Yeah, so that is another trader. And it's not that far of a ride now that we have a fast mini bike. We may need to do that. Uh, I can go over to the trader and get rid of this quest on my screen. Somebody even said that the other day. I hope you hurry up and go to the trader and just get that quest. I'm tired of seeing that quest on your screen. <laughs> so we need to do that. We need to get that off the screen uh, just for the sake of some of you. So I'm pooping out iron. I don't want to poop out iron. Really pleased with the amount of resources we've been able to gather with this uh, auger. What I'm most pleased about is that we have an auger. We have an auger and a chainsaw. Boy, those traders paying off early game. They've paid off well for us on a multiplayer server. Everyone has been able to uh, pick up multiple uh, chainsaws and augers early game. And uh, that's just so beneficial. But you do have to get your scavenge or your... Uh, well, all that raw iron I pooped out. You have to get your bartering up and your secret stash at least to level two. You at least want to get that to level two. Now, once you get that to level two, then you start seeing a lot of the augers and the chainsaws and that sort of thing. And I am told as well that the secret stash level three is not bugged anymore. You do get the full benefit from it. Uh, for a while there, I think 16 maybe one and two, but there was a bug so that you got better items on Secret Stash 2 than you did on 3. So, uh, maybe we'll take a look at that. Uh, also, I need to stop by 
because I wasn't really thinking about it at the time, but I'd love to stop by the trader. I don't, I don't know if they're going to be open before we can make it there, but maybe we go tomorrow, just right over there real fast, and see if they do have shotgun turrets. I mean, we have, I'm sure we have a generator. We have a couple engines. It doesn't take a lot of power for a shotgun turret, especially only two. And then the only thing we'd be short on would be a little bit of uh, uh, maybe the shotgun shells, and we could slap some of those together. Uh, maybe buy some if we had to, but mostly we, you know, we can just make some of those. Um, but I'd love to see if I overlooked those. We're just a short ride. I think we can make it there real fast before we call it an episode. We'll uh, we'll check out and see what he has. I'm trying to keep the episodes. Oh, I'm looking down at the time. Uh, trying to keep the episodes under an hour if I can, around 45, 50 minutes, and today we're already uh, beyond that time period, time limit, so uh, I apologize about that, but yeah, we'll just go as long as we need to go. If we need to go an hour and a half, we'll go an hour and a half. I'm not going to limit myself completely, but I'm just trying to be uh, conscious and aware of the time and how long we are recording. Oh, I guess we'll stop by this guy first. I wish I'd have thought about that, but I really wasn't when I was over here last time. I wasn't thinking about, well, you know, if we had a couple shotgun turrets, that would save me all of the things that we need to make them with for later. You know, and then we can go ahead and make six or eight of them. Uh, but I could have two for pretty early game, maybe by the 21-day horde. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to get that all done by the 14. We'll just, we'll rough it out in the street or we'll figure something out. But uh, but yeah, I could have these done or really short on time. Really, really short. Let's see if he'll buy these pistols from me, though. Oh, he will. Okay. Uh, shotgun turret. Shotgun turret. Generator bank does not have them. I hope I didn't just look at that. <laughs> you all are going to tell me if he did. You, you look right at him and he, he had him and you just kept going. I don't think he did. I'm trying to be as quick as possible so I can make it to this other trader. I only have about uh, 20 more minutes in game before this trader closes the door. Teleports us out. Glad these traders are worthwhile in 16. You know, I, <laughs> I just despised them on 15. Thought they were useless. Just a waste of a... Anything that they even thought. Oh, don't you close yet, Trader Joel. Don't you close yet, because I'm not coming back tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be work day. Shotgun turrets, shotgun turrets, no shotgun turrets. All right, well, maybe day 13 he'll have them. Let's get out of here before he teleports me to the other side of the world. Something silly. It's almost 2200 and we're not back home yet. We need to uh, get on back home so we don't maybe attract any attention and have zombies running after us while we're trying to enter our home. Also worry about screamers now. You know, I don't really have any defenses set up. Don't have any spikes around this old building we're in. And if a screamer walks up, she's going to sit there and beat on that wall all night long and try to collapse that building. And we lose all of our, uh, all of our stuff. I probably would have been better taking over one of these buildings over here and a little strip mall or something and then we're protected by the walls next to it. We put our bag down and nothing can spawn in the buildings closest to us because they are so close to each other. Probably should have done something like that instead of one of the big buildings. I was thinking big. I, you know, I was going to actually turn this into a horde bunker, one of these large buildings over here. Uh, since then, I decided against it after my experiences on the multiplayer server. Uh, look cool. It's a cool idea. Just too stinking big. You know, too too big and for one person it just doesn't make sense your sleeping bag only covers a certain amount and I, it just didn't work out like I thought it would or like I hoped that it would uh, our building right here anything in here we can take in with us uh, animal hide and the water Take in the water. 
So our garden, ooh, our garden is ready for harvesting. So when we get on tomorrow, we start the episode up tomorrow, we'll go down there and pick that. I'm not going to do it tonight because we need to call this an episode right now. Uh, but uh, the forge has run out of wood. They sure did. Son of a gun. That's not good. I was not thinking earlier in the episode. Boy, my athletics went up just by putting wood in the forge. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Let's cap that out. Pow, look at that. Now, now we can start pumping some stuff out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll go ahead and sort all of this stuff throughout the night. Uh, pretty much all I'm going to do, maybe I sneak down there to the garden. Uh, of course, I'd hate for you to miss out if I died or something going down to the garden. But, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, sort all this stuff out, get everything going. Need to figure out how to get this cement crafting time down because that's incredibly, incredible long time there. We need to we need to fix that. Well, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Have yourselves a good day, good evening, wherever you may be located, and I'll see you all tomorrow.